Okay. Take a break. Cutler's a suicide, huh? Well, that's what Raimundo's saying. Now you disagree. I didn't imagine you would. So now what, Vern? Is there someone else who needs to commit suicide before I get some respect? Jesus Christ, Robson, you made your point, or I shut the fuck up and spot me. <laughs> and what? Come on! Come on! Miguel, sit down. What'd I do? Well, that's what I'm wondering. Tell me about your relationship with Wolfgang Cutler. Cutler? Nicer guy, we didn't have a relationship. Domehead was a equal opportunity racist. So it would surprise you if he left you something in his will. He left me something? Like what? Like everything he owned. What? You are the sole beneficiary of all his worldly goods, both in Oz and on the outside. His house, his car, hell, his 1942 Indian motorcycle. Get the fuck out of here. The will is signed and notarized. You shitting me? I barely even spoke to the fucking guy a couple of times at rehearsal. That's it. The guy had any wife, kids, family, anything? Wife? No kids. <sighs> this is fucking crazy. So we packed up his cell, put all his belongings in a box. You're going to have to decide what you want to keep. I'm not going to look through a dead guy's things. Jesus. I guess we'll have to wait till the afterlife to find out why Cutler would up and give his belongings to a fucking wetback. Yo, I'm as bugged out as you. And I know you guys spend a lot of time with Cutler. You never mentioned anything about me? Uh, yeah. In his sleep at night, he'd whisper your name. Fuck off. I'll suggest this now, Alvarez, or I'll find a way to make it happen later. You sign all his stuff over to his wife. I already thought about that. Don't think, Speck. Do. You know what? Maybe I should give all his assets to you, Ruby. Being that you already gave him your ass. Cunt. Alvarez, you got a surprise visitor. A girl from Maritza? No, one, Kathy Jo Cutler. She's the... Wolfgang Cutler's grieving widow. Right. Well, that's good. You know, I can figure out why he left me all his shit. Yeah, good luck. Thank you for seeing me. Sure, of course. Mr. Alvarez, I'm here to ask you, beg you. Wait, wait, wait. OK, first of all, Miguel, all right? Let me just save you a little speech or whatever. I don't want your husband's crap. Oh, I didn't know you decided that. Yeah, no, I just did. <sighs> I didn't sleep a wink last night thinking what to say to you. The new owner of the bed I was lying in. You gotta do something for me first, okay? You gotta tell me why he did this. Believe me, I've been racking my brains. He did like to fuck with me when it came to the purse strings. Serves me right, maybe, you know? Why did I marry him if I never loved him? You're not married? No, no. <laughs> Girlfriend. She don't come around, though. No. <laughs> uh... Well, um, I, mean, I guess that's all then. Thank you for being a better husband than my husband, if that makes sense. Any time. Maybe I'll see you again. You know, if I gotta sign papers, whatever. Okay, Miguel. Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> 